Hey guys, Gil from Quick Reviews here. Are you looking for a quick, easy, inexpensive alternative to a C-stand for mounting your video camera or your DSLR? We'll show you how to do it with an inexpensive microphone stand coming up right now on Quick Reviews. Stay tuned. Normally, you'll be using a tripod to record your videos, and that's a good thing because it gives you a shake-free shot and hands-free operation. However, a tripod doesn't come in handy when you're trying to shoot from a top-down perspective. It won't give you the angle you need. If you want to shoot directly from above, for example, let's say you want to record something that's going on on your table. If you're shooting a product review or a video tutorial and you want your audience to see your desk rather than speaking directly into the camera, you need a different solution. Sometimes people use what's called a C-stand and that's basically a tripod with a boom arm on it and it allows you to mount a light or a microphone or a camera to the boom arm and position it above or below or to the side of wherever you want to position it. However, C-stands are a little expensive. They uh, start at around $120 and they can go easily well above $200. I was looking for somewhat of a less expensive solution for that application and I came across this microphone boom stand on Amazon. It's called the OnStage Boom Microphone Stand and it comes basically with two pieces. It comes with a stand and it comes with the boom arm. Now it will not work for a camera straight out of the box. You do have to get an additional adapter and OnStage sells the adapter as well. I will put a link in the description below for both of these items. Uh, what I'm going to do now is try to put this together. I'm going to attach the uh, adapter to the boom arm and see if it actually will work with my camera. So we'll be back right after this. Here it is all set up and assembled. Now it will extend to a maximum of 63 inches in height, although I don't have it extended fully right now. I did verify that it will extend to a full 63 inches as the listing says. Now the listing also says that the boom arm is 36 inches long, including the plastic molded counterweight. However, when I measured it, it only comes out to 31 and a half inches. So if you're looking for a 36 inch boom arm, this isn't it, it won't do it for you. It really is 31 and a half inches. However, for my purposes, it should do just fine. So let me show you how to get this camera onto the boom arm. First of all, I already put the adapter that I ordered in addition to this boom arm, already put it on the camera. So all we need to do now is attach the uh, adapter to the boom arm and we're ready to go. And you do that by just screwing that on right here. And then you secure the boom arm so that it doesn't rotate with this knob right here. And there you go, we should be good to go. Now, this is teetering on the verge of falling over because this boom arm is not made to have this much weight on the end. However, as you can see, it will hold it up and it will serve the purpose that I wanted it to, which is uh, performing the top-down video shooting. Other than that, uh, it doesn't look very stable. I certainly wouldn't trust this to hold anything heavier than this, and I certainly wouldn't walk away from this boom arm with my camera on it. Well, how about that, folks? What do you know? It worked. Now, it's not the strongest solution in the world. As you can see, it's a bit flexible, a little bit wobbly, and that's because the boom arm is a little bit flexible, and the stand itself is barely strong enough to hold the weight of this camera. It is holding it up, but barely. And I've got the boom arm leaning up against my table for a little bit of extra support. I wouldn't trust this boom arm to hold my camera by itself. I don't think it's strong enough. It did tip over when I did it. However, if you support the boom arm against your desk, put a few sandbags on the bottom, it should be okay for recording indoors. I wouldn't take it outside and I certainly wouldn't count on it protecting or holding onto uh, any of your expensive video equipment. However, for indoors, for a top-down perspective like we were talking about, this should be just fine. So what I'm going to do now is go to the top-down perspective and show you what it looks like when the camera's in this position, pointing down and recording from my desk. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we are recording in top-down video. I've got the camera mounted on the boom arm, pointing directly down towards my table, and we're recording the package that the adapter for the mic stand actually came in. Obviously it's empty right now because I've got the adapter on the mic stand, but you get the point. 
You can bring this closer or further away from the camera. You can discuss a particular item, or you can show somebody how to build something, how to fix something, whatever it is that your video is about. This is one good solution for top-down viewing. Well, there you go, folks. A quick, easy, inexpensive alternative to a C-stand. Now, it probably won't be as strong as a C-stand, so it won't work quite as well. As I said, it is a bit floppy and flexible. But in a pinch, it should work fine for your top-down videos. You just have to remember a couple of things. Number one, make sure you weight it down with sandbags or something else that's similarly heavy so that you can stabilize the base. Number two, remember that when you have a camera this heavy attached to the end of the boom arm, it is going to be top-heavy and it's going to be very unstable so you need to shore it up like i said with the sandbags and possibly lean it up against your desk whatever you do just make sure you don't put a nice expensive piece of equipment on the end of this boom arm without securing it or you're going to get really upset when it falls down anyway that's it for now folks i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you liked it if so please click like below please feel free to subscribe and comment if you like thank you